Hello everybody. I ought to make a video here in the ham radio shack here. Talk about power supplies. Uh, when I first got my license to talk on the radio four years ago, got on eBay, bought me a Yazu FT 230R. It put out 25 watts of power. So I got on eBay, bought the first power supply I saw. It said uh, 12 volts. I said, okay, that's good enough. I bought it. It kept shutting down, talking on that radio, transmitting 25 watts. So, what it is, it ain't really the volts. This thing only puts out two and a half amps, 2.5 amps. So, it wasn't big enough. So, be careful when you're buying a power supply. So, I didn't want to wait to order one online. I wanted one that day to talk on my radio. So I go around town looking different places. I found this one at Radio Shack. It's a Radio Shack brand. Just so happens they were closing the store. And they did close the store. Everything was marked down. This thing was $70. 70 I got it for $21. I didn't buy it right away. I thought I wanted to go check another place. I think it was a pawn shop maybe somewhere. I went and looked went somewhere and looked but I came back to Radio Shack and I bought this for $21 it puts out 19 amps like the other one I showed you two and a half amps this puts out 19 amps works great it runs this radio Yezu 2900 puts out 75 watts it supplies power to this radio this radio and this cooling fan with blue LED lights on it it powers all that these uh, handhelds are charged by the electricity outlet but that 19 amp power supply has never shut down or cut off of course I don't talk on both these radios at once but I'm sure it would still carry both of them so just a video to show you be careful when you go to buy a power supply this one still works but I don't have any use for it uh, just letting you know uh, what I learned uh, you want a good power supply now Besides using the power supply, some radios plug into the electric outlets. These are uh, mobile radios for your car, so I run them in the house. Besides using the power supply, you can use a car battery. And I did have a jump start that you jump start your car with, a kind of a battery box. You could power your radios with those, or like I say, a car battery. But if you're going to use a power supply to plug into the electricity to, to put out 12 volts to your radios, you want to get a good one. I would su suggest 19 amps or greater, but just wanted to make a video about that. Thank y'all for watching.